When I was 31, we sold Twitch for a billion dollars. I achieved everything I ever dreamed. When I was 35, I realized I was just as unhappy as I'd ever been. What was going on? I went deep down the rabbit hole on happiness and here's what I learned. How's it going? I'm Justin, Justin Khan from Justin.tv. What's up guys, it's Justin, your favorite founder's favorite founder. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Smash subscribe and bang that bell and I'll love you forever. Humans are adaptive by nature. I often hear this pushed in the business world. Never be satisfied. It's meant to glorify the idea of endless conquest, but the spirit of pursuit is a double-edged sword. When taken too far, it can create feelings of inadequacy and self-resentment. This is known as the hedonic treadmill, and it's the reason you may be unhappy. It's the idea that we're endlessly running after attractive things and thinking that they're going to bring us closer to happiness. This could mean a promotion, a raise, fame, status, wealth. For me, that always meant I wanted to raise more money for my startup or to have a bigger valuation or even just more Twitter followers. But the satisfaction of achieving these things is short-lived. The pull of accumulating more and more things eventually keeps you running in place forever. I experienced this when starting off in the tech industry. I was constantly surrounded by people who I thought were more successful than me. I saw my friends, like Steve Huffman and Alexis Ohanian of Reddit, sell their company for millions of dollars. I'll never forget what I told Michael Seibel, my Justin TV and Twitch co-founder. One day, we could each make a million bucks. At the time, the thought of that was incredible. But eventually, we blew past that goal, selling Social Cam in 2012 for $60 million and then blowing by that and selling Twitch in 2014 for 970 million. The funny thing was that even after exceeding my wildest expectations, it reset me to a new standard. And in the long run, I wasn't any happier. I was just holding on to more things. My own accomplishments weren't enough. Even though I had accomplished something astronomical, I looked at my friends who had founded Dropbox and Airbnb and thought, I could have done better. And that constant need to do better and better is what drove me to start more and more companies. I'd been working at Y Combinator investing in startups, but it wasn't enough. I saw founders that we'd funded go off and start unicorn companies and raise hundreds of millions of dollars. And I thought, I can do that too. I wasn't hitting new heights anymore and I felt my fame and fortune had plateaued. Selective memory kicked in and I forgot how stressed and unhappy I'd been as a founder. I started looking at some of the founders we had backed at YC who were raising money for their companies now in the valuations of hundreds of millions or billions. They weren't any better than me. I should get back in the game, start a new company, build something new. In my mind, the next company was going to be the success story that would be even bigger. It'd be bigger than Twitch. This time, it would definitely be different. Before I knew, I was back on the treadmill. Sure, I'd done well, but I had friends who had done even better. My ego was hungry and wanted to be fed. Because my goal to start a company was to build the biggest company possible, when I left YC and decided to start something new, I settled on the concept in the most mercenary way I could think of. All I wanted to do was create something really, really big. Once again, my dreams were full of insanely large numbers. A $10 billion company, a $100 billion company. I'm gonna leave this story for Atrium for another time, but what I wanted to part here is that hedonic treadmill is not always obvious or trivial. We may not even be aware that we're getting caught up in it. And many of us struggle getting on and off throughout our lives. Ironically, the pursuit of happiness can lead us into the eternal trap of chasing unhappiness. Being mindful of this is the first step off the treadmill and into the right direction, inwards. Here are three things I learned about the hedonic treadmill. Number one, it's never enough. If you have a dollar, you'll want 10. If you have 10, you're gonna want 100. Surprisingly, the same thing applies to billion dollar companies. People look at me and they think, man, that guy has got everything. But I'm looking at people who have done even better than me. Number two, the outside world can never deliver lasting happiness. Lasting happiness can only come from within. Number three, instead of looking to the external, look inside. Meditation, gratitude, exercise. These are the things that have helped me be happy every day. I'll cover the things that have helped me be happy in depth in the next video. All right, if you enjoyed this video, you know what to do. Smash subscribe and bang that bell and I'll see you guys next time. All right, that's it. How long is that?